The tricks this woman pulled after being caught drinking publicly are just one in a million. I'm gonna go to jail, okay? No, take me to the hospital. I'm what? psychologically ill. I have schizophrenia. On April 9, 2022, officers in Florida were on their patrol duty when they witnessed an odd incident. This woman drinking from an open container in a public street. When the officers approached her, she did something that no one could have expected. What are you doing? Okay. What's your uh, beer? Is that not okay? Uh, no, not really. Not on the street. Ma'am? You forgot your bike. Ma'am? 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 You want a ticket for that? No, here, take it. Okay. Hey, come here. When officers asked her to stop drinking in public, she didn't say a word and started walking away, as if the officers wouldn't try to stop her. And although the officers did make her throw away the container, the drama still didn't end. No, no, don't hit me. Don't touch me. You have no, no right to touch me. I just touched you. You have no right touch me. Now you're going to jail. Do you hear me? Now you're going, to going to jail for what? For what? Oh, now you need me. Stop resisting. Stop resisting right now. Stop right now. Stop resisting. Apart from drinking publicly, she also tried to get into an altercation with the officer while resisting arrest, which itself is another huge crime. And for that, officers made sure to put her in cuffs, but she still wouldn't act like a normal lady. Don't, that's two. That's two. Two what? Stop. Assaults on a PO? You think you're a police officer? F you. You know who I am? What's your f thing, Zach? You, Zach, you You're being a f***ing pig, Zach! I don't know who Zach is. You know who Zach is, you f***ing liar! And now you need me and you kick me. Good, you f***ing deserved it! Initially, when the male officer touched her, she acted as if he had committed a crime by saying, don't touch me. Then, when the officer told her she would be searched by a female officer, she changed her statement and was now happy to be searched by a male officer. Ironic, isn't it? Have a seat in the car here, so I can talk to you. <laughs> All right, what's your name? I don't have a name that matters to you. Hey, dude. No, I don't. You're lying to me. Why do you think you don't matter? Why do I matter? Just take me to the hospital. <laughs> and suddenly, the crocodile tears shed as she tried hard to convince the officer that she was having a mental break. In reality, all she was doing was trying to avoid jail time by pretending to be mentally ill so she could go to the hospital instead. But the officers weren't going to buy it so easily. All right. Just take me to the hospital and take these off. They're hurting me. <laughs> you're not supposed to cuff me in the car. What? Because you're not supposed to take them off. Okay. What? What's your first name? It's Megan. Okay. Now, Megan, you have not been real cooperative. I didn't do anything. Okay. I was drinking a beer. Okay. Why can't I drink a beer? Do you know how old I am? I'm 38 years old. Why can't I have a beer if I want to? Do you guys have any idea what you've done to me already? I have no freedom. Is that what you're saying? I'm not free. Everyone else can have fun except for me. Out of nowhere, she transforms from a 38-year-old into a 12-year-old 
crying over seemingly small things, but even she knows exactly what she's doing, trying to evade jail time for the crime she had committed. Me? That isn't fair! I can't even eat! You guys won't help me at all! Ah! Stop! Ah! Stop! Ah! Stop. 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 I just want to go home! Hello. Don't put those on. Don't put what on? The gloves. Oh, I need to. Stop. She's very nice. Yeah, there you go. She's, She's putting gloves on and they smell bad. I don't want to touch my body. What are you doing to my body? Yeah, I don't want to touch my body. You're touching my body. Don't touch me, she said, as if the female officer was going to touch her body while searching her but not her clothes, where she could be hiding a deadly weapon. It's just crazy and funny at the same time how these Karens come up with such ideas to pull off such stunts and try their best to avoid jail. It's a city code what are you talking about? There is no city! Don't touch me! I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> Screaming doesn't do anything. This You're is acting my like a child. Thing. I'm not acting like a child. Yes, you are. No one knows what I do. Don't touch me like that. Stop. You're making me piss. Stop, stop. it. Stop. Megan, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop. it. Stop 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 it. At this point, she's done her very best to make everything right for her. But when she comes out of jail and sees herself on social media, she'll probably realize the kind of mess she created that day. Sorry, you do. You didn't read me my rights. You didn't read me. I want a lawyer right now. I want a lawyer. I want a fucking 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 lawyer. Ow! Get in the car. Get out! You gotta stay ah. to sit in the car. I want a lawyer to get out of this. I, there's okay. no well, reason you to can be get arrested. One later. Sit in the car. Okay? I want a lawyer now. Sit in the car. I want a lawyer now. Sit in Call the car. Call me a lawyer. Sit Call in me the a car. lawyer. Call me a lawyer. Call me a lawyer. Yep. And now, after she came to her senses and realized she would go to jail instead of the hospital, she doesn't want a doctor but a lawyer to help her get out of this situation. And to be honest, even a lawyer might not be able to get this woman out of jail. Ow! Can you grab her? Do you need an arm? Let's go! I'll get it on my pig! Get in the car! I'm getting it! Don't f***ing touch me anymore, you f***ing pig! Little pig! Kill it! Well, at least she finally shuts up and lets the officers do their job when they tie her legs. Okay, they assaulted me and harassed me. I had a day to What are you talking about? I was walking down the street doing absolutely nothing and I get harassed all the time. Did you were drinking a beer? So what? All right, it's legal to drink in the city of Sarasota. It's illegal to drink? Uh-huh. And when an officer gives you a lawful command, you have to obey it. I didn't know it was illegal to drink. Yeah. No, I didn't. How long have you been in Sarasota? Since when has it been illegal? Um, I don't know. 23 years? or I've been here 23 and it's been illegal since then. 
She then comes up with another excuse, claiming she wasn't aware that she's not allowed to drink publicly in the state of Sarasota. Asking you if you were injured or anything due to this arrest. So I'm not, not interrogating I'm you. Okay. All right, well, we'll document it, all right? But you're going to go to jail, okay? No, take me to the hospital. I'm what? psychologically ill. Okay. I have schizophrenia. Okay, that's not uh, go to the hospital. There's, sure there's, there's numerous people who have mental health issues that we don't take to the hospital. Oh, no, you're taking me to the hospital. Okay, well, we're going to roll up the window, and then when you get to the jail, you can talk okay, to the nurse. So okay. Great. okay, all right, have great. A great day. You too, thanks. As well. Okay, fantastic. You're supposed to read a person that writes before you arrest them. You have no right to arrest me for drinking a beer. After attempting to cover her crime by claiming it was a mental issue, a trick that didn't work, she was finally arrested and charged with resisting arrest with and without violence, as well as having an open container. But what about a female who was too famous to be arrested? On August 2, 2023, this 31-year-old woman, Lorena Montez, was driving her car extremely recklessly when she finally caught the attention of the officers, forcing them to kick off a traffic stop and get hold of the situation. Hi. Hi, How you doing? Good. Deputy in Lake County Sheriff's got license on you? Oh, I know who you are. How do you uh, know who I am? Sheriff's office. Hold on. How do you know me from the sheriff's office? Uh, Streeter. How do you know Streeter? Oh, why are you getting out of the car? Oh, because my boyfriend's on the back of the side. Okay, have a seat. I never told you to get out of the car for any reason. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Do you have your license with you? I don't. I have my ID. Okay, can I see it? Initially, she acted like she knew everything too damn well, telling the officer who he was and which department he was from. But the only thing she probably missed was knowing why she was pulled over. You want a passport? Sure. You carry a passport with you, not an ID? No, uh, sir. Okay. You want me to be honest or you want me to bullshit? No, be honest, though. I don't have a driver's license. Why not? Well, that's up to you to discuss with the sheriffs. Okay. They're playing pranks on me. They're playing pranks on you? Yeah. Okay. Well, my boyfriend's right back here, and this is not my car. Whose so car is this? My boyfriend's. It's yeah. his car and his name? Yeah. Can I call him? If driving the car recklessly wasn't enough of a crime, she went on to tell the officers that she wasn't going to bullshit them and that she had her license revoked. On top of that, it wasn't even her car she was driving, which could now be huge trouble for her. What? How'd you, wait, stop. How'd you you wanna arrest me, bro? Stop. How did you get this car? My boyfriend in the and back. 13 times in route to cover. What? How did you get this car? My boyfriend told me to go get some cigarettes down the street, okay. and I did that. I'm okay. being honest with you. What kind of cigarettes? Newports. Where are they? Boyfriend get the car. He told me this is was it. He told me this was his car, and he said go get cigarettes. So I did. Okay. And his room's back there. Okay. What do you revoke for? Um. Honestly. Well, yeah. Don't lie to me. DUI. A DUI. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you talk to right now. No. Okay. Please, you, please don't intoxicate me or. I can't intoxicate you. Like, no, I'm saying, like, please don't fucking, like, um, you know. Test you? Yeah. She knew why she had been pulled over and was fully aware of the trouble she had gotten herself into. And by following her boyfriend's commands, she was sure to face severe consequences. But just wait until you see how she tried to resist those consequences. Sensor. Okay. Well, I do smell yeah. alcohol. So how much alcohol did you drink? Well, earlier I drank a couple beers. Yeah, what time earlier? I can't remember, but I'm not gonna blow. Okay, that's fine. Do you wanna do any tests? Can you just cut me some slack? No. Well, I'm not doing any tests, so if you need to take them to county, take them to county. All right, make sure I can move your stuff. Just like a boss, she told the officer that she wouldn't perform any sobriety tests and wouldn't do a breathalyzer test either because she was afraid of the BAC that would show up. You can just give it to me. You don't need to reach around because that's how bad things happen, okay? Just, I'm not doing anything, dude. Just hand me your stuff like I asked, please. 
I don't, I don't trust you. I don't, I don't trust you grabbing a purse. So just leave everything <laughs> where it is. You leave. can't be, can I call the guy and tell him to get his car? Leave everything where it is, okay? And now step out of the car. You don't need to grab anything. Leave everything where it is. No, I'm not going to do that. Because you just violated my rights. I violated your rights yeah. by telling you to give me your stuff and stuff out of the vehicle. Oh, I thought you said to shut the fuck up. No, I didn't say that at all. Alright, well here you go. Once again, I don't need you to grab anything. You should just listen to what I'm telling you. She didn't want to follow the officer's commands, and she was so drunk that she wasn't even in her senses. She claimed the officer told her not to speak, when in reality, he was doing his best to help her out. Oh, mother Hey, where's Streeter at? What? Streeter, Officer Streeter. Is it, was it Montez was your last name? You know who I am. No. I, Don't act stupid. I talked to a ton I'm of people. I'm famous. You're famous for what? Everything. Okay. Well, let's take this bag off. Miss Montez. Excuse me. Take, Ex excuse me. Take your bag off. All right. We're going to put this down here. We're going to... What the fuck is let, wrong with let you? Go Can of I... It. Let go of this. Can I just smoke a car. cigarette? No, you can't. Why? Because you're under arrest. For what? For driving while revoked and suspicious. No, you're not going to do that. We're 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 but that trick didn't work either. Once she realized she was going to prison, which was pretty delusional of her, she told the officer she'd be more than happy to be dragged to the squad car. The owner of the car is a white girl, so... What? Yeah. What are you talking about? What I just said. I don't believe you. Okay. A black man, right? No. Oh, my fucking God. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on, this is silly. Stand no, up, ow! Up. Ow, don't grab me like yeah, that! stand up on your own! Don't grab me! Okay. Ow! Give me my purse! You'll get your purse, you'll get your phone. No, give me my purse! Cigarettes and all, okay? No, you won't! She was pretty shocked to find out that the car she was driving didn't belong to her boyfriend or the guy she claimed, but to a nearby neighbor, a white woman. County. No. Yeah, you gave me a bread biscuit. A bread biscuit? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so let's go. Was it good? Yeah. You're welcome. All right, let me go. No, I mean, let me go. Like, I'm not going to leave. Oh, no, right, like, Oh, my God. I'm not. Jesus Christ, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Wait, I don't, up, my, I don't want my purse. We'll get we'll your get purse your for you. It's not bad. Step up. We're the people that protect property, not steal property. You'll get your stuff. Wait a minute. God damn it. Get you another breakfast. Get you another breakfast. Hey! Stop! Stop! Hey! Stop! No, Listen. I want my now. Listen. Listen. If you break, if you... 
Really? I'm going to prison. Do you think I give a f about breaking a f window? Get back in the car. Give me my purse. I'll get your purse. Calm down. Give me my sh Calm down. You know what? I'm going to break all these fucking windows. You know why? Because you guys been playing games with me since I've been in jail. If you kick the window again, we're going to tie your legs up. It's completely Do unnecessary. Do it. You know why? It's completely, you know why? completely Be unnecessary. You know why? Because you guys been fucking with me since I've been as soon as she was seated in the squad car, she started kicking the door, attempting to break the window, which was quite impossible. Despite her delusion that she would only go to jail over a DWI, if she continued with this violent behavior, her delusion would surely become reality. Can you just sit down? Can I smoke a cigarette? I can't allow that right now. No, I need you to sit down. So I'm not gonna smoke a cigarette till I get out of jail? That's not true. I just said you could probably smoke when we get down here, okay? Probably, or are you, I, I will ask them when we get there. No, 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 no. I don't have control over them. Can I smoke one now, then? This came out as a stolen vehicle. It's not really stolen. It's more like taken out without consent. Her boyfriend is with another girl whose car that is. He's revoked, so the car he can't even drive anyway. So I'm going to call her in order to come pick it up. Is she revoked? She's revoked on DUI. The addiction had likely taken over her, as she couldn't go a minute without a cigarette. But what's even more astonishing is that she was driving a kind of stolen vehicle. She hadn't ultimately received consent from her boyfriend's other girlfriend, whose car it was, making the situation even worse. All right, I'm done with her. You know who's back there selling bricks? Uh, well, I do. Oh. Are you going to let me know if I tell you? I'm going to go back. I'm going to point you to the room. Turn over. Okay, now I'm not telling you. Now I'm not telling you. No, we're done. We're done. Get off of me. You're too tight. Get the f*** off me, you asshole. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Get off of me. You see, if you got zip ties. Get off. I got some zip ties in my back. Yeah, grab some. Food. You want to... I got zip ties too in my back. Get off of me! <laughs> we asked you to act like an adult. No. After officers thought she might try banging the car door again, they made sure that wouldn't happen by tying her legs so she couldn't move. She was later charged with aggravated driving under the influence of alcohol, driving while her license was revoked, and resisting arrest. But what about an entitled girl who thought her parents could save her from DWI? So on the first sample that we got, you blew a .137, and then on the second sample that we got, you blew a .159. On February 26, 2023, an officer pulled over a vehicle for speeding well over the limit. Upon further investigation, the officer discovered that this girl's license had been suspended for a couple of months, though she acted unaware of this. Things took a turn when the officer asked her to step out of the car. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm good. My name is Sergeant Spencer at the Sheriff's Office, 68 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour zone. I'm sorry. I, at this point, I... Say it again. Any lawful reason for your speed of 68? No, I don't. Are you aware that your driver's license is suspended? Okay. What is it? Are you aware that your driver's license is suspended? No. And it's suspended in. For what? Uh, all I see from Alabama shows it's suspended um, back in December of 2022. As soon as the officer approached the girl, she could be seen talking with a slurred speech. But that didn't concern the officer as much as knowing that she was also driving with a suspended driver's license. Got anybody? Yes, sir. Got anybody? No. All right. Step out so I can place some paperwork to you. I've issued you two citations. 
The first citation I've issued you is for your speed on Navarre Parkway. Um, this citation is for 68 miles an hour and a post of 45. That citation is $281. I've served you two options. Option one, you can pay the citation online by phone or in person. The next citation I'm issuing you is a citation for unknowingly driving while your license is suspended. Now that you know your license is suspended, you can't operate a motor vehicle in the state of Florida. If you mm -hmm. do, you're subject to be arrested. Okay? Okay. This citation is $160. I've served you two options on there. Option one, you can pay the citation online by phone or in person. Option five is traffic court. If you do so, I want to contest the citation in the traffic stops. When the officer asked the woman to step out of the car to issue her citations for speeding and driving with a suspended license, he began to notice signs of impairment. I don't know what to do. That's a decision that you have to make on who you're going to call. You can call a tow truck, you can call an Uber, and go to your friend. Okay. Okay? Okay. My next question to you is how much have you had to drink? No, it's not even about that. My next it's question is how much have My next question is how much have you had to drink? Nothing on that level. Okay. I'm, I'm just more concerned about. Right, I believe that you're intoxicated. That your normal faculties are impaired. I'm perfectly fine just calling a friend mm -hmm. and telling them to come get me. I'm okay with that, but I would much rather, like, of course, go home and not mm -hmm. have to involve anyone. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if I need to, like, I, I'm not about to go sit in that car and like Correct. pull off, and then you like Correct. try to call somebody on me, and then I get in more trouble. Like, I'm, no, I no, I have, well, I have way too much in my life going on for that to happen. Mm -hmm. So, I'd much rather like call someone. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, where, like, okay, I believe that you're intoxicated. That's normal faculties are impaired. When the officer asked the woman how much she had to drink that night, she brushed it off like it wasn't a big deal. Then she began acting irrationally and refused to listen to the officer's commands. At that moment, the officer knew something was wrong and decided to investigate further. The question to you is, would you be willing to do Phil's body task to dispel my suspicion? I just want to go home and That wasn't a question. No. The question was... I am not. At this point, I have had the night from fucking hell. Okay. I just want to go home. Uh, at this point. On every level at this point, at I have a, I've had a night from fucking hell, and I just want to go home. I'm not doing anything wrong. At this point, that is past. If you don't want to do spill sobriety test, that's your right. However, do you understand that your any mission or your failure not to do field sobriety test could be used against you in court. That's the consequences okay. for refusing to do FSTs. I can't make you, can't for force what? you for a field sobriety test. For what? Because I'm asking if you're willing to do field sobriety tests. To clear his doubts, the officer asked the woman to perform a field sobriety test. She was very reluctant and tried to avoid it by playing a sympathy card. But the officer was steadfast in his request. Eventually, she agreed to take the test. If you keep walking, I will put you in the back of my car. Get back over here. I'm just calling you. I don't care. Do what I say. Well, of course, Daddy. Like at the same time, though, I'm, I mean, I want you to know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, they're here. Okay. All right. I love you. Back by my push bump. This is my dad. Well, that's how. I just want that's how things to start. Know where that's I'm how at. things start to escalate no, when you don't I listen. My daddy. I want my dad to know where I'm at. The woman, being a mommy-daddy girl, called her father, hoping he could get her out of the situation. Unfortunately, she failed, and now there's no one to save her from all the fuss she has created.
My supposed to be following it. Yeah, follow it with okay. your eyes. Keep your head still. Okay, so keep your nose pointed at me, and then follow the light with your eyes. I like this. this is something my dad used to do. Was your dad a cop? Nope. He was just a dad of three daughters. I hear you. Arms down by your side, nice and relaxed, all loosey goosey. Okay, feet together or apart? Feet together. All right, whenever you're ready, just tilt your head back, back. Tilt your head back, close your eyes, count to 30. Ooh. Arms by your side. Okay. At this time, you are going to be placed under arrest for DUI, okay? Moving forward with the field sobriety test, the woman failed, which confirmed the officer's suspicions that she was intoxicated. Therefore, the officer proceeded to arrest her for DUI. This is going to be the official one, okay? So, in about two and a half minutes, I'm going to ask you to provide a sample of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. Will you provide a sample? Water. After we're done here. You can have the water once we're done in here. So would you be willing to provide a sample of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content? Do you have a choice? You can tell me now. Later, the suspect was transported to the Rose County Jail, where she was asked to give a breath sample to further determine the amount of alcohol she had consumed. The breath test confirmed her high blood alcohol content, solidifying the DUI charge against her. Clear yourself, okay? Nice, strong, steady beep, okay? A little hard. I'm gonna keep that going. This is just for your information, okay? Do you know what the legal limit to drive uh, with the blood alcohol content is? Okay, it's 0.08%. Okay. So, on the first sample that we got, you blew a 0.137. And then on the second sample that we got, you blew a .159. So you're almost double the legal limit to be able to drive. And I struggled to hmm? give a sample of... Yeah. Okay. Well, that's just because you weren't listening on how to provide it. Okay. The result of both breath tests were .137 and .159, which were double the legal limit, confirming that she wouldn't be able to go home that night. She was later charged with DUI and resisting arrest. The seriousness of the situation meant she would face serious legal trouble. But what about a woman who thinks she wouldn't be caught again if she fled the officers? On June 25, 2022, an officer with the Delray Beach Police Department initiated a traffic stop on this woman, named Ashley, for driving a car with illegally tinted windows. Initially, the stop went smoothly, but suddenly, Ashley decided to perform an unexpected act. Hey, how we doing, folks? How you doing? Well, the window tints are actually the reason why I pulled you over, okay? You cannot have the windshield tinted at all. You have the full windshield tinted. Okay. And also the tints in the front are supposed to be 28 in the front and 15 in the back. All right. Is it your vehicle? No, I don't. Okay, do you have the driver's license? Your driver's license with you? Registration insurance? No, I don't have my driver's license on, but I have my license. Is your license suspended? No. It's not? Okay. Yes. Quick question, honest answer, okay? Uh -huh. When was the last time I was smoked on the car? In this car? Yeah. Um, it hasn't been smoked in here. She's been, been smoked. no smoked in this car. No. no. I've been smoking a cigarette. I've been smoking yeah, well, a cigarette. Because I, I could smell as soon as I walked up, at least on that side of the car. Well, I, I don't know smell. if she, I don't know if like her boyfriend smoked weed in here. I just got the car from him. Okay, that's fine. Is there any in the car that you know of or anything like that? No. No, any guns, weapons, anything? Uh uh. No? Okay. Want to have you come out for me real quick? She was driving her mother's car without a license and registration, a serious offense in itself. To make the situation even worse, additional trouble showed up when the officers detected the smell of in the car. Yeah. For what? They can smell the coming from the car. Why do you smell? I can't 
can't, it's coming from the car. Oh. Hey, Bunner, he locks the door. I'm not smoking any. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Why? I'm gonna ask you one more time. All right, just, just step out the vehicle. That's all it is. If there's, if it's just in the car, I don't even care if it's in the car, honestly. So I gotta make sure there's not large amounts of weed. Okay, trap me. Okay, and that's fine. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. I don't have any. Your hands, bud. Hey. And there it was, the most unexpected method someone could avoid charges. Frankly, the woman only succeeded in increasing her troubles and adding more charges because just three days later, she was caught again, and the same officer who had conducted the traffic stop three days prior was called onto the scene. This officer wants to call you. You remember me? No, I do not. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's weird. I don't know you. I'm sure you don't. I do not know you, and don't talk to me like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you like something, this, okay? I'm so, anyways, the other day when you were driving that key, I pulled you over. It was doc. It, it, listen, key. my body camera was on the I was entire. I driving any key. I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, so you don't know what I'm talking about. My body camera was on the entire time, and so was the in-car camera. You identified yourself to me with your name and birthday. Not me. No, it wasn't you. Okay, well, we're just wasting games. Why? What are you doing? Why are you serious? Why, why are you slamming me down and doing all that? Why? What for, are you putting me in You're being arrested for fleeing and eluding and resisting. Fleeing and eluding and resisting. Why are you arresting me? Fleeing and eluding and, re and, 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 and resisting. I haven't fleed. Okay, well, it's on my camera. The camera was on the entire I time. Have not Remember, fleeing. I asked you to come out the car. No, you refused, I did not. and you were with your buddy who rolled down the wind, rolled up no. the windows, locked the cars, and you took off down. You don't no. remember. Karma caught up with her when she was put in handcuffs for her misdeeds. Although she did initially attempt to play dumb. But when she got to know that the officer's body camera was turned on the entire time, she knew that her time was over. Yeah, I had, to, I had to give you the opportunity to explain yourself, and you don't want to explain, explain yourself. Explain myself about what? For fleeing and eluding. I wasn't I fleeing and eluding. Okay. Uh, tightened up a little bit. Okay. Don't, why phone. are you snatching me? Go why your... are you snatching me? Go of your what phone. What the f is wrong with Let's you, Michael? What the f is wrong with you? No, the f is wrong with you. The f is wrong you just get mad. Are you serious? The and the traffic stop suddenly turned into an altercation when she tried to fight with the officers while attempting to retrieve her things, which she wasn't allowed to do while being in handcuffs. But just wait and see how her brother showed up to the situation to help her sister. What happened? What happened? Okay, what do you mean? Stay back. That's my brother. I'll explain. I'll explain. You don't need to explain. Two days ago, yeah. I, she identified herself and spoke to her at the car. I pulled her over two days ago. I was at the car talking to her. She identified herself. When I asked her to get it, no, it's fine. When I told her to get out of the car because I could smell the coming from the car, she kept saying, sir, there's no cars, no car said actually get out the vehicle. Listen, get out the car and she was with another black male. The black male locked the car door, rolled the windows up and she took off down third on the car. While I was at the window, she identified herself. It's not like I confusingly maybe saw her. No, she identified. After hearing the complete story, even her brother showed emotions, realizing he possibly couldn't do anything to save his sister, who had just committed the huge crimes of fleeing from an officer. That's Greg, the, that's same the, day. To. the same day, I see you guys pulling right there. Okay, and y'all call my phone, cause baby, I, my phone works. Call on the corner right there, baby. It's a great Kia. Yes, it look golden. Uh, like, no, no, no. Is that light? Like, like kind of light is. Cause I was standing right there. That's the car she was driving. No, no. She no, went no. to the store in my car, but I don't know I'm, nothing about no fleeing. I know you don't know about it because she ain't going to tell you she ran from the police in your car. No, no sir. He said my Kia. Kia. He, got, he ran my tag and on my name. I stopped the car. I was out with the car. car. It's not, it was the Kia. Kia. Her car. I stopped it. So, so, so that's that one. Is it, uh, I don't know about that. The Kia that you pulled, it was gold. That's great. I the argument then started between Ashley's family and the officer, claiming that the car he pulled over the other day was a gold Kia, not a black one. However, in the body cam footage, it's very clear. 
even in the dark, what color the car was. Because I got a job. No, 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 your tag's not flagged for fleeing and eluding, but she was because she was driving that car. Okay, so it's about, it might have been two days so ago, maybe three. Right. I don't remember exactly when. Say again. I want to tell me so I can be around. Joseph. That's who she was with. And I got charges on him too. And you say, okay, you know exactly who that is. And he's on papers already. So he's going to be violated now and he's probably going to go back to prison. Do you have to me? Okay, put your knee in the car now. Come on. Mom. I hear you. I hear you. Mom. I don't want them to hurt you. I don't want the police to hurt you. I don't want the police to hurt you. After this, we'll operate. We'll do whatever we need to do for you. Yeah, you talk about standing and resisting. I didn't fucking resist this. Yeah, you took off. 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 Justice finally caught up with her when she was arrested and charged with resisting an officer and fleeing and eluding the police. But what about a female who thinks bragging about her law degree would get her out of trouble? Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. So, I, I'm pretty sure you're to a 47 not allowed and, to arrest uh, stop me, me at 46 if that I the you. breast test is by... On January 25th, 2020, around 9.15 p.m., Officer Brown of the Albuquerque Police Department pulled over this 25-year-old female driver, Veronique, for failing to maintain her traffic lane. However, as Officer Brown began to investigate, it became clear that this was more than just a routine traffic stop. Did you find your insurance paperwork? No, I only have the old one. My dad hasn't sent me a copy of it yet. Okay. Um, ma'am? I believe your driving could possibly be impaired by alcohol. I'm going to have you step out and do a couple of tests real quick, see if you're okay to keep driving. Go ahead and step out for me. Yes, sir. Do you want me to turn off my vehicle? It, it, you can leave the heater on for your friend. Go ahead and step okay. out. I just didn't know what you want me to do. Do you have any shoes that are flat, like tennis shoes or anything in the car? That's not... Do you have socks? Do you need a pair of socks or anything? Um, I can check my truck. Is okay. that okay? That's fine. Veronique failed to provide her license and proof of insurance when asked by Officer Brown. Additionally, Officer Brown suspected that she might be intoxicated due to her impairment, so he requested her to undergo field sobriety tests. Face me. Do you have any medical limitations, impairments that affect your ability to walk in balance? Um, I do have an autoimmune disease called Bechet syndrome. Okay. Yes. Bechet syndrome? Bechet syndrome. Um, the last time I was diagnosed, I was about the third person in New Mexico to have it. Okay. Um, it's very similar to lupus. Okay. All right. I'm going to have you try these tests as best you can and we'll go from there, okay? Yes, sir. Veronique informed Officer Brown that she was suffering from Shea syndrome when asked about any medical issues. However, it's unclear whether this was a trick to avoid the tests or she was serious. Despite this, Officer Brown proceeded with the tests and Veronique appeared confident during the process. Yes, you looking at your eyes, you should watch the tip of this pin right here with your eyes mm -hmm. and your eyes only. Don't move your head, just your eyes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Try to hold your head still, please. Keep watching it. I need yep, you to look I'm at it. You. You're going ahead of it and you're not looking at it. I need you to look at this tip of this pin. numbers. Yes, sir. Can you count backwards for me? Start at 47 and end at 32, please. 47 to 32? Yes. Um, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 43, 41, 40, uh, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 
And how much alcohol have you had tonight? I've only had one bottle of soda. About how long ago? Mm, about like two hours ago. Okay. I feel like your driving is possibly impaired by alcohol. I've, these tests are not pass-fail, but I feel like you did poorly on them. What's going to happen is I'm going to give you a chance to take a breath test. Uh, that is something that is required. But in order to take that test, I do have to place you under arrest for DWI. So turn Veronique's confidence was surprising given that she failed her field sobriety test. Despite admitting to consuming only one vodka, Officer Brown suspected it was more. And due to that, Veronique was placed under arrest on the charge of DUI. Go ahead. So, right. Right. I'm going to be arrested for DUI. The breast test is by willingness. Okay. Go ahead and turn around for me. Okay. Well, I'll read you the implied consent and you can decide for yourself. You're not going to be forced to take it. Uh, you do have to provide a breast sample, but it's going to be your choice. Turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Go for it. Is there anything in the vehicle that you would like to take with you, ma'am? Let me grab a cell phone, a wallet, or anything. If you will, uh, make sure she can get a ride home, the passenger. Okay, have a seat, please. Be careful, it's not a soft seat. Say no. Thank you. Do I need to go under these? Um, nope. Before being arrested, Veronique claimed that she couldn't be arrested, perhaps believing that her law degree would grant her ticket to avoid all charges. However, Officer Brown remained unaffected and proceeded with the necessary procedures and placed her in the police car to transport her to jail. Can you get a good seal around the mouthpiece, blowing their heart and constantly until the machine stops making noise? And until it stops making noise? Yep. Blow hard like you're blowing up a balloon. To blow until the machine stops making noise. Try it again. Blow really hard like you're blowing up a balloon. Go ahead. Up. Okay, the machine's going to recalibrate, set back to zero. It's going to ask you to do that one more time. Stand breath. Blow constantly, hard constantly until the machine stops making noise. Go ahead. Blow, 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 blow. Try it again. Stop. limit in the state of New Mexico is 0 0.08. Your first breast score was a 0.16 and your second was a 0.16. You're over two times. So you're at two times the legal limit. It's a little bit more than one shot, okay? 0 .1. 0 0.08 is the the point 08. 08 is the legal limit. You are going to be transported out to MDC where you'll be booked for DWI. You're also going to be booked for fail to maintain a traffic lane. Uh, failed to obey a traffic control device and for not having your proof of insurance in the vehicle. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. She did. Inside the police station, Veronique's breath tests were conducted and the results were shocking. Both times, her blood alcohol level was 0.16, which was double the legal limit. As a result, she was detained and charged with three offenses, DUI, failing to maintain her lane, and failing to provide proof of insurance. But wouldn't it be surprising to know for a female that using race card has failed miserably? <laughs> On January 19, 2024, authorities were called to a residence in Ohio for the second time that night due to the confrontation between a woman and her boyfriend's mother. What this woman did throughout the situation is surely worth watching. What's going on now? She came up there after you guys left. Mm -hmm. But the thorns stopped in the room and okay. I ignored her. She snatched one of my phones mm -hmm. and just started kicking me in my face. Jesus Look Christ. at my eye. And she went somewhere back there. And I didn't do nothing to She's right here. Get up. Get over here. No, you're an adult who chose to put yourself in this situation. Get yourself up. Step out here. I ain't put myself in this when somebody put their hands on me. <sighs> this is still an older woman, and they y'all gonna come straight for the youngest from black one. Well, it's strange that you're the one hiding. It's the 
because I already know what the f it is. All right, just keep your light on, Shannon. I'll just go cuff her and drag her out. That's fine. No, the mother told the police that her son's girlfriend hit her and left the home through the back door. As the officers searched for her, she was found hiding under a tree in this extremely snowy and cold weather. Keep your light on, Shannon. I'll just go cuff her and drag her out. That's fine. No, then get up. Let's I'm go. Gonna, can I come to you? Yeah, I've been waiting. No, you haven't. My fault, my fault. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting there. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting there. We don't do this on your time, we do it on mine. It's strange that you keep saying people keep hitting you and you have absolutely no injury. Hang on, he's double look at, look at me. No, I already looked at you before and you're fine. When I asked Shaw, you said, is there anybody else who will con conflict me or hurt me? I said, yes, the mother of the man who you lives said, in your house no. who hadn't done anything. Yes, she had. She wants the officer to give her some sort of sympathy just because she claimed that she was hit by the older mother too. But even the officers knew very well who was at fault, so they didn't waste a single second to put her in cuffs. But the woman made sure to continue the chaos. Yes. Now that my lip is busted, my face is hit up, when it wasn't hit up before y'all left, right? I don't so know you don't care. You, you don't care. Her face is busted up too. Right, because I have to defend myself. Well, it's amazing so, that you're continuously defending yourself. It's okay, yeah, I know. And this is what I've been going on with this family for years. Well, so okay. like I told him, you yeah. should have left him uh -huh. five years ago when you lived on Seven. Lookout. Seven years we've been together. Well, there's and a series saying, of unfortunate oh, decisions. Oh, y'all saying, oh, yeah, just leave, just leave. We have three kids. You have one kid together. We have three. If he sat there and raised them kids and adopted them no, kids, you have three. No, you have one. Three. Well, there's a thing called custody that's why, that's and why, family court. And that's why I said he has custody. Well, there's family court and there's... Right. Visitation. But now, and with the inflation and everything going on, a two-parent home. She is asking to live with us because she is homeless. I don't know what to tell you. So now, I know you don't because you don't care. Uh, it's not that I don't care. No, it's just that no, I'm exhausted all, with this situation right no, now that all, I've been back to this all, house four times. The woman then tries something different. She plays the sympathy card, using her children and domestic violence as an excuse to cover up what she had just done to the mother recently. But that wouldn't work on these officers' watches. All America, Caucasian America. Oh yeah, this is a race America. thing. I get it. They all feel like the same thing. But yet when a black person is going through something, they ask them for help. I think so everyone in this you. situation is black, ma'am. Okay. Every single person. Thank you for telling me. You're racist too. <laughs> Yeah, and that, your name is um what? Officer Deirdre, but you're saying that I'm doing no, I'm this just because I'm white. Up. And I'm telling you that every single person that I'm dealing with is black. Get up. Okay. What are we faking oh, a medical God. experience? Oh, That's yeah. fine. I'll drag her. It's fine. Nope. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. And her ego was hurt when the female officer told her that everyone involved in this situation, including the mother she was fighting with, is black. So there is no way for her to be racist. Unfortunately, even the race car didn't work for her. Rotate this way. Yep, push yourself in. Very good. If you kick me, you're getting assault on a peace officer. That's why I'm not getting I'm not showing no assault. Make it work, huh? You're breathing. 
After being dragged from the snow to the squad car, she was finally seated where she probably belonged. And then what she did is absolutely one in a million, something most people would rarely do. <laughs> You out of breath? <laughs> ah! Ah, that was funny. She literally spat on the handcuffs and with a few seconds got out of them. What's even more surprising is her confidence afterward. She couldn't stop bragging about it. It seems she probably has a lot of experience being in handcuffs and getting out of them. They blaming me for my kids in the house, y'all. Their grandmother's there. No, that's not their grandmother. Remember, like you said, I'm black. It's only one. It's only one grandkid. See, I'm leaving a woman that sit there and assaulted me to leave with my children. So maybe, whoa, what happens if my children get assaulted? What y'all gonna do, arrest my children? <laughs> you the sh You the shit. Y'all white cops just do it. I'm not racist. That's how y'all treat us. You treat me the same way every trip. Every time I go with this man, and then with this happened, now his mama does this, y'all sit there and tell me. Yes, y'all do. How she just said to me. It's surprising how she then tried to snitch on her mother, saying that if she assaulted her kids, officers would go on to arrest the kids, but not the mother, which is completely false. Okay, that's not stop. how you're going to get a hand on your back. Then I will then give you gonna, your hand. That's not how you're going to give it. Lean forward and give us your hand. Okay, well, let me lean forward. Lean if you forward. got this arm it's pink. down. It's fine. Lean right, forward. so I will have to lean forward. Now. Lean forward. There it is. Put it behind your back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unclasp your hands. Use that Open your palms now. Black people. My palms. Camera and our it's, entire it's interaction okay. that will I show that everything so. you just said is not true. I know. It's good, okay. And nothing is not true because I told you. You said, is anyone in this house? I said, his mother. You said, oh, well, I can't remove, remove his mother. Feet. Put your legs Put your back down. in the seatbelt. Yep. Put your feet down. Put them through the seatbelt the other way. Bend your leg back towards you. Stop. Okay, okay, hold on. Listen. Look, it's yeah, a medical reason why my leg That's won't bend. Did. Put your leg up. Y'all. Y'all treat black people all types of crazy. I wonder how white people get done. Y'all get done great, the same don't way you? act like this? No, they don't. The white people get done great. <laughs> Throughout the situation, she kept saying that she was being abused by the officers just because she was black. At some point, she even suggested they shoot her like they do other black people, which is just kind of mind-boggling to say. Funny. Let's see, how can I do this? <laughs> you really treat black people like this and you have Mexican. All that bad, nobody like you asses. The so I tell my mother Wait. More than a shack of four gonna hear, Sheriff Plumber gonna be here. You know what? Stop doing it. Even after being in handcuffs again, she shows no regret whatsoever for what she has done. She probably isn't even fully aware of her actions, but when things were getting out of control, the officer had to take action. Shot my baby daddy down like this. Did that? Did y'all do this? Do this to him like that? All right, there. Yeah. No. Or it's just cause. Oh, she's black. Pull this under the door. Hurry up. Hurry up, y'all. Hurry up. You got it. <laughs> 
She was apprehended and faced multiple charges, including assault, resisting arrest, obstruction, and escape following her removal of the handcuffs. But how about a female's heartbreak when she got to know her daddy's position can't save her? Who would do when you're in that situation? I hope you eat your goddamn words every day because I'm f***ing Satan and I'll f***ing come for you. On November 19, 2022, an officer conducted a routine traffic stop on a woman for speeding. What started as a standard procedure quickly escalated into a very intense encounter. This woman repeatedly claimed that her father was a high-profile man, believing that this connection would shield her from any consequences. Insurance on this vehicle. Okay, can you show me that? I need I your license. Trying... I'm not doing this game. Why am I smelling alcohol emitting from your breath? I need your license, it's registration, it's and insurance. You, you have one more chance, one face. more chance, or I'm going to take you to jail, okay? okay That's not how this works. All right, we're done. We're done. Nope. Stop. Stop. No. Stop. Stop. My dad is a cop. You're not gonna. Wait. Come over here. I am trying to talk to you. Okay. You do not want to listen to me. You do not want to listen to me. You don't want to do anything. Just tell me, like, when did you? I clocked her over at 285 past Brantley. When? I haven't even been past Brantley. She hasn't been at Brantley. You're lying because I haven't been at Brantley. She hasn't been at Brantley. I haven't been at Brantley. Stop yelling. I haven't been at Brantley. I know. Stop. On Brantley Road. No, I haven't. On 285. No, I haven't. I passed you. The officer provided her with the complete details, but yet she denied driving above the speed limit. Even more astonishingly, instead of correcting her daughter's behavior, the woman's mother also sided with her. She wasn't coming out of Okay, stop. well, that still doesn't... Okay, well, stop. Stop. She called me. She's bringing me the kids. Okay, so where are you coming from? I'm telling you. Where I, are you coming from, okay, then? Okay, I've come from my boyfriend's Which is where? house. Which is where? It was off of Thomason. Off of Thomason. So you have to yes, pass sir. Brantley Road to get to Thomason to get here. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. so that's what I'm saying. I passed you at Brantley Road, clocking you at 92. Okay, so I went dry I am traveling 100 miles an hour trying to catch up to you. No, no, no. And you kept driving through Loving, black Chevy Silverado. You're, you're lying. I'm not lying. Okay, I don't need to lie about that. Mom, and I... now I'm smelling alcohol co coming from your breath, and Pepsi. you have kids in your... It's astonishing that someone could drive intoxicated at a high speed of 100 miles per hour, especially with their grandkids in the car, not only putting yourself in danger, but other lives as well. Let, okay, so let me call... No, 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 now you're taking me to jail wait, for no reason. Stop, wait, stop, listen. get in the vehicle. Swap. Get in the vehicle. No, no, no. Get in the vehicle. Stop. stop. Like, no! Get in the vehicle okay. right now. Listen to me, listen get to me. Get in the vehicle. Okay, I'm trying to talk. Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk listen. to her. Okay. Get listen. in the vehicle. My dad is a sheriff. Oh, my your dad dad's is... the sheriff. Your dad's Mark Cage. And I'm get listening. in the vehicle I'm talking right now. To you. Just turn around. Get Mom, in the vehicle. this is f***ing bullshit. He's f***ing bullshit. Listen to me. Stop. Okay, Stop. talk to me. Talk to me. I will me. talk to you when you calm down. Okay, calm down. I'm calm. No, no, no sit down. I'm, I'm down. going to get your license, registration, all that stuff. Brittany, I'm calm. calm. Down. Please, please, please. I'm not, I'm Stop. not arguing. Her argument and resistance continued for a few minutes until she finally claimed that her dad is a sheriff, believing that invoking his position would get her out of trouble. However, the officer, who seemed well aware of her father's status, proceeded with his duties regardless. I didn't try to stop you until right here. Why? You came around this corner. Why what do you, you stop mean? Me? It's it, against the law to drive 92 in a, in a 65. I'm telling you. So okay. that's that's the reason why I pulled you over. Okay. I pulled you over doing 92 He's in a 65. Why you're barely pulling me over here. Why I had you to stop catch you. You kept going 92. You kept going. Where's well, I'm not going to keep explaining tell me, this. Tell me 100% honest, where's my... What? Brantley Road is no, on 285. I don't on 285. Know roads. I don't pay well, attention. I've lived well, you here should all know your life. roads. I've lived here. Well, then you should know your life. roads. I'm okay. not going to argue with okay. you. Okay, just show him your eye, eye license. I will. I will. And he'll give you a ticket. I don't know what he's going to give you, but please do not argue. He's just I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to get right? to the point where he fought. Why did he follow me so long? And I now he's now he's pulling. Initially, she insisted that she wasn't even on Brantley Road. But then she had to ask her mom where Brentley Road is, despite previously claiming she had lived there her whole life and knew the roads. Do that. Why would that? That makes no sense. Are Why? you a police officer? Yes. No, you are? I where, know where's the you? rights. Okay, you're a police officer. I know my rights. Okay, well then get in there. Use your Fifth Amendment no. right. Mm -mm. 
get in the car. Okay. I'm going to arrest you for resisting. Brittany, please. How about that? I'm not arresting you for resisting. I'm not you resisting. can't arrest me. I'm not arrest. I'm not resisting though. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Get in the vehicle okay. right now, or I'm, I'm going to arrest you. Okay, listen to me. Last chance. If, if, if you do not let me close this door, I'm arresting you. Listen. If you don't let me close okay. this door, I'm arresting you. So let me show you my license. One. Let Two. me show you my license. Let me show you my license. Brittany, you're gonna let, me, let me show you my license. I'm gonna pee myself. Get in the vehicle. I'm going to try to talk to you. I'm, not, I'm, not I'm going to hit you with it. I'm going to hit you with it. The situation kept intensifying as she outright refused to cooperate with the officer. At one point, she even told her mother to shut up, despite her mother's attempts to help her avoid further charges. It seemed like she was prepared to face all the consequences. Stop. Where's your wallet, insurance, and registration at? If I could get out, I could You're not getting out. Okay, well then I'll arrest you for concealing identity. What's your name? Brittany What do you need, <laughs> boss? Oh, she was driving, she did 92. I turn around on her, I barely caught up to her here. She comes out, I smell alcohol on her breath. She's pretty much refusing everything. Ma'am, listen, I'm sitting you here. bang on that window and you damage it, we're gonna charge you. What so am quit. I doing? So I'm quit. sitting here. You're banging on the window, so I'm stop. I can hear you on the outside. Hey, listen to her. Stop. This lady's trying to talk to you, Brittany. Brittany listen to her. Brittany, please, Brittany. Listen. Calm down, please, Brittany. Mom. I know. Just calm. You better call my dad because I'm going to I know. Out. They have Stop. no right. I know. No f***ing right. I know. I haven't Stop. done nothing. I know. And all calm of a sudden, down. he pulls calm his down. lights. I know. All of a sudden, down. Stop. It must be incredibly difficult for her mother to cope when she starts freaking out like this over a simple DWI. If only she had cooperated with the officer, things could have gone much smoother. But it seems she's brought this fate upon herself. Brittany, are you willing to submit the standardized field sobriety tests? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, I'll take that as a no, okay? All right, so as of right now, you're under arrest for DWI. For DWI. For what? What is it? I would understand. My dad's a f***ing sheriff. I okay. wouldn't do this to you. I'm All right. not an ugly person. I'm not I saying don't you are. Do this. All right, you need to listen to I me, don't okay? Do this. You need to listen to me but really carefully. To me. All right, you are under you are but under why? arrest if for I DWI. Didn't do nothing, Stop and how listen am to I me. Under DWI Stop if I and didn't listen blow to me. I didn't blow nothing. I cannot force how you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will how lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege me. for- Kudos to the officer for staying calm and composed. In such a situation, with a grown woman behaving this way, many other officers might have resorted to restraining her. Your remain silent does not apply to this requirement of the Mexico how law. Long have you Let you take me? a breath test. Do you me? now agree to be how tested? Me? I consider your actions to be a refusal how, to be tested. How do you know if I have you didn't with say I didn't review. Oh, I'm going to. Did I say yeah, I No, she wants you? to act like that? Yeah, charge with her. Did I Zip it. Zip it. You should have been uh, um, fucking him right. If not, you wouldn't have been there. They're all fucking. That's why they all fucking get in trouble. That's why. Information? What is she hitting the window with? I don't know. If you were cooperated, a lot of this would have gone. Yeah. I'm just curious. Who's your dad? <laughs> who's her dad? I have no idea. Said he's a sheriff. What's her dad's name? Um, he used to be a cop, she says. He, he used to be a sheriff. Oh, did he? Okay, gotcha. Hi, babe. Oh, one day when your daughter's in that situation, I hope you eat your goddamn words every day. Because I'm fing Satan and I'll fing come for you every fing day. Fing worthless piece of shit. She was later arrested and faced numerous charges, including child abuse without great harm or death, driving under the influence, speeding, driving without a license, resisting an officer, and criminal damage to property. But what about a female who threatened the officers with their parents' position? And I'm not playing. I will call this empty. You guys don't know who my parents are. And you're fired. You look On September 3rd, 2022, Police in Washington received a report about two females involved in a shoplifting incident at Kohl's. When the officers reached the scene, 
one of the females was not willing to cooperate. Everyone on me! Stop kicking me! Stop touching me! You're under arrest. Stop touching me! I'll get up and give you something. Stop touching me. You're under arrest. Can you please? He's hurting me, though. I can't. He's hurting me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let go of me. 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 Even the two bystanders, who had initially called the police on her for stealing, came up and told the 19-year-old to stop resisting, but she kept insisting that she wasn't resisting. He's hurting me. We're the ones that call that's fine, but can you like not grab me like this so rough? Well, you know what? You're the one that's fighting me, okay? No, you're, I'm not fighting me. He's lying. No, you're fighting me. No, I'm not. He's grabbing me. Come over here. What the f are you doing, bro? Get off me. Get off me. Stop. I swear to God. Talk to my lawyer. I'm not Talk to my lawyer. Kill me for a petty theft. Get the Just off me. Just stop. Get off me. You get away from me. 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 Stop pushing, okay? Get away from me. I'm not pushing twins. Stop He's hurting me. I'm not here. Imagine being a 19-year-old and screaming so loudly that even people at a distance could hear you. She kept telling the officer that he was hurting her when he was only holding her so she wouldn't escape. He keeps twisting my arm! Stop it, man. He's twisting my arm! Stop my it! Stop twisting my arm! Okay, well, you stop it. Okay, let go. Stop. And I'll stop. But you stop. cannot be grabbing me like I that. I can't you grab you. You know what? Like you cannot hold me like that. What is wrong with you guys? No, this is not okay. I'm a little girl. You cannot be twisting my arm. I'm not resisting, but he keeps pushing my arm. I'll get in the car. He keeps twisting my arm. This hurts hella yeah. bad. Well, then stop it, hurt. right? He's hurt. Camera on your fucking... What? He, yeah, he used force. Tell him to look at his yeah, camera. Look, I have a video. I have a video. I'm not I'm not running away or nothing. I will get in this damn car. But he over here is twisting my arm and oh, pushing I'm me down. He take this off. Take the purse That's off. fine. Take Relax. the purse off. You guys... She then goes on to blame the officer, saying he was twisting her arm, and even claimed she has a video recording of him abusing her. But trying continuously to gain sympathy surely wouldn't get her out of the cuffs. Take me down soon, and I'm not playing. I will call this everything. You guys don't know who my parents are. So you will, and I'll get my lawyer too. Then you tell your parents you shouldn't be shoplifting, and right? Get, and, I'll, and I'll tell my parents on, about you on. too. And you're fired. You will Dirty ass. There you go. After cooperating for a few seconds, her mood instantly shifts to blaming and threatening the officer, saying he will be fired from his job because they had performed their duties. She kept bragging about her parents' position as if that would help. You're under arrest. So 19 is an adult. You cannot be touching me like that. You cannot be touching me like that at all. And I want the video clip on. Okay, so your court date will be September 13th, okay. 8.30 at the Federal Way Court. All right. And I'm going to take your picture too. Thank you for not, like, jumping on me. Can I flick the camera off? Flick what camera off? Your camera. For what? Because. <laughs> She's the one that's, like, fighting back. That's the photo I want you to have, though. Yeah. <laughs> We're That's in front the... of the theaters on the north side. Yes, north side, north side, outside the parking lot. Sure. If only she had behaved like her crime partner, she would have only been cited and not taken to the police station for further investigation. However, she was later arrested and charged with resisting arrest and theft. She was taken into custody to be processed. But how about a reckless driver who thinks mommy would show up as an angel and protect her? Rico? On August 5th, 2022, Police officers responded to a call regarding a reckless driver at the Circle K gas station. Upon arrival, 
they observed damage to the side of this woman's car. However, she became uncooperative with the police. And from this point, the situation began to escalate. Right now, What's happened? going on? I'm going to call you in like two seconds, okay? okay? All right. Bye, baby. What happened? I'm meeting my friend. My freaking tires popped okay. on the right side. Okay. Can you stand in front of your car for me there? Okay. <clears throat> Is it your car or somebody else's? It's mine. It's your car? Okay. Where are you coming from? I'm coming. I live here. Okay. So where are you coming from, though? I'm coming from Okay, where's Stock Island? I mean, sorry, I'm coming from Key West. Okay, where were you at in Key West? I was down like teasers. Okay, and then you're going to? I'm going home. Going home, okay. And you had an accident? No, I had an accident Okay, you said you pointed to this tire. This tire looks okay. I'm a little hammer. All right, what about this, what about this side yeah, here? Yeah, that side's bad. Right. But it was already bad before. It was what? It oh, was already there's bad your tire. Before. Yeah, that was already bad before. It uh, looks my fresh. Tire, no, my tire is completely flat. Okay. And then that back yeah, is completely you, flat. You've got this here. You got, you got tire damage there. And were you in an accident? No. <clears throat> I would have gone. Kind of well, ma'am, you've got flat tires. That's an accident. I mean, that's my mother's. You've got busted tires here. You couldn't okay. have driven from Stock Island to here. The woman told the officer that her tire burst, causing the accident. But this explanation seemed made up, as both tires appeared to be fine. And when asked about hitting the car, she attempted to dodge the question. Um, so how did this happen? I really want to go home. Okay, I well. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay, but we got to figure out I already out what's talked good. to him. Okay. And he already made it seem like I'm like a horrible person. I don't want to talk to him anymore. Well, ma'am, no, I didn't. I was asking Can about I your crash. Me? I got my lawyer. Okay. Can what? I please call my lawyer? For what? We're, in, we're investigating call, an accident. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to call my lawyer. Why you want to call a lawyer? Because I know how this works. How does you what see, work? I need a lawyer. What? Can I please call my mother? How old are you? We're just I'm 23. Why do you need to call your mom if you're an adult? Can I please call my mother? Uh, not that it's bad. We're trying to figure out what's going on. So I just, we I, just, want, I, we I just need you to talk asked. to us. I, I have a right to ask if I can speak to my mother. Ma'am, we're doing investigation right now. You do not need to be on the phone. You're I adult. can't be in my no. phone. No. No. Okay, let's let's go grab When asked about how this incident occurred this time, she attempted to call her lawyer and her mother in the hope that they would come to her aid. However, the officers did not allow her to use her phone, destroying her plan. She's behind the wheel still. She's talking to her boyfriend on the phone. Uh, somewhere in the city she hit something. But we don't know why. I don't know where. But she's definitely behind the wheel when I get here, which puts her at the signal. You can smell the alcohol coming off her breath. She gets out of the car, she's spaced out, she's literally just like, whoa, like this, and then she wants to say that this damage was old damage, but she went driving down the road, so. The officer who arrived first at the scene briefed the supervisor on the entire incident, which he learned from the witnesses present at the time of the accident. However, the it's officers the, uh, wanted to hear the woman's account directly, so they proceeded okay, so with their questioning. The driver's license. Okay. Do you want my phone? I don't need your phone. Can I open my phone? Yeah, car? sure. I'm just opening my car. Oh, I see. Okay. I my car. Can I okay. open my car? Yeah, yeah, let's go around. Can you please call my mother? For, for what exactly? I don't know, but I, can you call my mother, please? Uh, I don't really want to call your mother. Like, what am I going to okay, tell so her? what do you need from me? Right now we need, license. yes, right now we need a driver's license. I'm pulling on my phone. I'm just calling my mother. No, where's your driver's I license? My, at? I know, but I need. I'm gonna get my driver's license. Okay. I need my mother here. Ma'am, you don't need your mom. I have a right. Ma'am, no. Not gonna call your mom. We I have a right to license. call my mom. No, Ma'am, that Ma I do. Okay, come no. on out and talk to this officer real quick, please. Go away from your car. Have you ever heard of an elderly woman urging to call her mother every time she's asked to provide her ID or driver's license? This woman seemed to be attempting various tactics, but the officers were not allowing her to succeed. So who my you lawyer, are. how the f is this possible? Are you gonna are you gonna tell me what who you are or no? Like I don't under are you you gonna to I said Where's this your twice. ID? Where's your I ID? I don't over no. Where's your ID? Okay, now I gotta shut up. In um, yeah. Okay, but what the f I'm saying I wanna talk to somebody. I can't okay. talk to somebody. So like you're not gonna tell me where your ID is? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Yo, he's hurting me. Nah, he's putting handcuffs. You're, Yo. you're 
You're pulling away. Stop. You're going to get charged with resisting, hit and run, and you're and you're intoxicated. So three charges. Right. So you're going to go to jail for being drunk, driving the car while intoxicated. Now the officers understood the reason for all the hue and cry. The woman didn't have her driver's license or ID and had been consistently lying. Consequently, the officers decided to arrest her on three charges. Yeah. Can you please call her? I can. Please call you, her. You'll have a chance to call her. Okay, was she really freaked out? I don't know that. I don't know your mom. Okay, thank you. Be careful, don't hit your head. Okay, thank Get in. you. Have Get a seat. In. Okay, thank you. She was then placed inside the back of the police car where she began to throw tantrums, but the officers didn't pay much attention and transported her to the police station. There she was charged with resisting arrest, hit and run for leaving the scene after damaging property. However, the prosecutor later decided to drop all her charges after she completed her pretrial diversion. But what about a 23 year old who couldn't be saved by her brother, let alone mother? On February 26, 2023, officers arrived at midnight in response to this woman, Lexiana's call, accusing her brother of beating her. They found the scene to be completely different from what they were expecting based on the assault call. She is overly drunk. I guess her ass got into my son left. I don't know what happened. I was sleeping. Beat the shit out of me, not here. I was woken up. I have fucking prints and everything. So let's do this. Let's do this. Your boyfriend did that first of all. Who? Your neck or your throat. Who? Catches juju. Okay, so what, what is all these from. Is it not from him? It's not from him, right? Here. You want some know. It's right here. Oh, okay. I was, was asleep. It not? Meant, oh, okay, yes. you were asleep, so you don't know what the do you need a, Do you need a name? I need to be an ambulance. I need the cops come to get her fucking do son. You, He's downstairs. Do you want He's a, downstairs. Hey, talk to me. Do you want an ambulance to check you out? I need, where's the supervisor at? That's me, Sergeant Andrews. Okay, I need hey, another person. Do you, do you need an I ambulance? I need to do it look like this. I'm asking yes, you. No. Yes, do you want oh, one you or not? Your specific fucking. Do you want one? Yes, ambulance, please. Okay. As soon as the officers arrived, the family began blaming each other. Lexiana's mother accused her of being drunk, while Lexiana requested officers to call an ambulance, claiming she was injured by her brother's assault. However, the injuries didn't seem consistent with her claims. Oh, let's go talk to her. She did that. She's a liar. And then, okay, so this is your mom? She, she's that's her mom. That's her mom. That's your mom? Okay. No, she's not. She's an egg okay. donor. Okay. She's never Still. to me. She knows. Yeah. Do you live here? She does. No. Okay. How about you? I did some other It's my friend. Nice did I? Your friend? Can I sleep with you outside? Did I? No. I was upstairs to sleep with my grandchildren. My grandson says, Grandma, they're fighting downstairs. I run downstairs. You me. I got in the middle of both of them. I have my son and my daughter. Don't know what fucking happened, but she just went out and off on me. Is there a gun in the home? Because he's a single, but supposedly one of her friends had a gun. But yeah, you're the home somewhere in Copernicus. Okay. Okay. But I didn't fucking know about it. And you know how she was last time, so I'm scared mm. about that. Lexiana's loud behavior made the investigation difficult for the officers. They questioned her mother, who claimed to have been sleeping and unaware of the situation. However, her claims that Lexiana had a gun in her room made the case interesting. Do that shit real. As a police officer, you should know. I need you to touch her. No, no, why? She does not want she she yeah. calls weird looking and shit. Okay. Bitch, you judge not for character. Be real. Speak with her. Do your job. I pay. Do your job. I, you can. Her. Don't 
was hard to move or something? Well, we gotta slow down and you gotta tell us what Are happened. You I just told y'all, this nigga beat the fuck out of me. How much something I gotta tell you? He in the army, 24, beat the this sleep. Now she wanna act like she died. Like, no, just came downstairs after he beat the fuck out of me. Let's be for real. Why is she still here looking stupid? Her rude behavior wasn't just limited to her mother. She also began to verbally abuse the officers and shout at them. Talk to your daddy or mom. I bet you look stupid if your mama and your dad came out here. Bro. Bro. Luxiana. She made it like raw. What? What do you want to call you? Bro, get off my face, bro. Look at my hand. You ain't gotta call I'm me shit. I'm trying. I'm just saying. It looks like just your acrylics got ripped off. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Bye. Okay, Bye. You don't need any medical treatment or nothing? Bye. Anything else happen? Take, take me to jail. All right, Lexiana. I know I know you said you got your take ass Take me to jail, please. For what? <laughs> them. Why Why are you my gun. It's registered to me. No, you can't have a gun when It's you're registered drunk. to me. Not when you're drunk. But I don't want them to have it. Where is it? It's in my It's in my crib. It's in my, huh? my, your, my, my house. Okay. Well, where can we go for tonight? I don't have a dad, bro. You have somewhere? Good. I don't have nobody. Lexiana was moved out of her house to check her injuries, which she had been claiming from the start, but none were found. Instead, she started crying upon learning that the police were aware of her carrying a gun, perhaps an attempt to gain sympathy. Because his he was put your hands behind bitch. your back, okay? I'm going to put your hands behind your back. Why? Okay. You're going to go to jail. Nope. Don't Why? resist. Don't Just resist. Put your hands behind your back. Your back. What, what's the reason though? What's the reason? Yep. Domestic disorderly conduct at minimum, okay? Uh, wow. Don't turn. What's that? Wow. Because you really just stop turning your wrist. Stop. Stop turning your wrist. Just relax. Bro, just relax. How though? Stop turning. How though? Stop turning. Uh, <laughs> After bearing Lexiana's rude behavior for almost 12 minutes and listening to all family members, officers decided to arrest her on charges of domestic disorderly conduct and domestic violence battery. However, what the officers didn't anticipate was how difficult it would be to apprehend her. I'm on to your handcuff. I'm holding on to your handcuff. Yo, 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 all right. I'm holding on to your handcuff. Yes, you were. Hell. You dumbass. Dumb grab my hand. I'm not talking. I'm not grabbing your yes, hand. You what the Just grab my hand. You're Stop. a lying ass, Kenosha ass bitch. She was not in Kenosha. When did I grab your hand? Just then, when I told you to. Stop. Shut, 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 shut your Caucasian ass up. Bitch, you're a liar. Can you yeah. give my phone to my? Can you give my phone to my mom? Cause you know what? Right, bitch, you know. up for us. Yeah, yeah. special <laughs> treatment. Bitch. What the fuck? Yeah. I'll be your mom's not for us. Don't spit at me. I'm not gonna spit on you, bro. Shut the f dumbass police is. Someone else spit on you, bitch. I'll never spit on you. Bitch. You, you know that. Can I, can I have a whole another sergeant? Stop talking to me. Stop. Stop. I don't want him to touch me. Stop. In the I don't car. want him to touch me. Let you talk You're to me. In the car. Let you touch me. Stop telling let go of me. Okay. Let's Tell let go of me. Let go of me. Okay. Fuck your right. ass, nigga. I'll get the car for you. Thank you. Don't let touch me, though. He's done. F him. Bitch ass nigga, you a bitch. Bro, stop touching. Get him away from me. Before I report this, bitch ass away from me. Get him away from me. It's a seat belt. Get him away from me. Lexiana, who had been loudly demanding to be arrested, strangely struggled for five minutes to free herself from the handcuffs. Officers then placed her inside the police car, and inside the car she created more drama. All right, let's get the shackles. Get the shackles. Get the shackles. Get the shackles. I'm scared I'm uncomfortable. I'm scared I'm uncomfortable. I'm scared I'm uncomfortable. How many times I gotta say it? I'm scared I'm all comfortable. We can get shackles in. I'm all comfortable in this car. Off the door. Put me in a different car. You can't kick the window. Put me in a different car. I'll be in the car with him. I will be in the car with this car, okay. this officer. I'll be. Bro, stop touching me. Alexiana, stop. I'm not. I'll, I'll be in the car with him. No. Cut it out. Wait for this. Uh huh. You're a weak ass. I put it on the ground. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Can we go? Bro, get like this it. off of me. Why did I have this b on me? Look at this Get this bitch off of me. Bro, get her off of me. Why is she still touching me? Right. 
Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Why is she touching me? Get somebody else to do it. Why the fuck y'all? Y'all, y'all, this is here. Why the fuck get off me? You're not good. You're like, bitch. You want you to dance outside? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop touching me. Don't do it. What am I going to do? Don't do it. Stop touching me. What am I going to do? Go ahead, clear feet. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, stop touching me. After struggling again for a further five minutes, cops got her inside the car and transported her to the police station, where she was charged with resisting an officer with violence, making felony threats to law enforcement, and battery on law enforcement. But what about a female dancer who thought her profession could save her from DUI? I'm not playing games anymore. Do not pull away, do you understand? Deputies were called to a minor accident scene where this driver, a drunk Florida woman, Amy Harrington, rear-ended another vehicle. Little did the officers know that upon arrival, they would be treated to an unwanted dance show. What's the best? Oh, my phone number? Well, for the, for the report, yes, ma'am. What's the best way that the DHSMB can get in contact? Are you injured at all? No, I'm not. Okay. Is this your vehicle? Are you the That's registered owner? Okay. Yeah. You want to check it? No, 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 that's fine. Go ahead and check it. Do you have your uh, license by any chance? Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, if you have it. Yeah. Do you know where your license is at, ma'am? And do you happen to possibly have your registration and insurance? Uh, I just gave you that, correct? No, ma'am, I have your license. Okay, well, I will give you that right now. Okay. If you like it, and if you want it right now, I'll give it to you. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah, absolutely. Take your time. Just hang out up here for me. The way Amy was speaking and treating the male officers made them very uncomfortable, as it seemed like an attempt to coerce them. Concerned about the situation, the officers called Deputy Kryptonite for backup. Give me one second, okay? And then again, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly happened as far as how did the crash occur? I, they stopped a little bit short. Of the I, traffic light? Yeah, and I, I, I bumped into them and it was it's totally my fault. Okay. Uh, you alright? You're not going to let me go, are you? What? That's why you brought a female officer. So I'm just here to make sure it's safe for you to drive, that's all. Yeah, so you want to get in the car with me? Have you ever been diagnosed with a speech impediment? No. No? So it's normal for you to slur your words? I have always been a little insane. Where are you coming from? Work! Okay. Hello? I'm sorry, I, I don't know where that is. I, I see your shirt now. Okay. Where are you headed to? Home! He stopped and I was trying to get home and he stopped and I was just trying to- As soon as Amy saw Deputy Kryptonite arriving on the scene, her reaction, behavior, and way of speaking changed completely. It was evident that she realized her game was over. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I already know what you're doing because you're going to flash a light in my eyes. I'm going to see if they're switching back and forth. They're going to know if I've been drinking or not. Huh. So I'd like to take a look at your eyes. Are you going to allow me to do that? But see, here's the thing is I've already told you that I already know what you're doing. Okay. And I can tell you what you're doing. And I see my car right here. So what does that tell you? That tells you that I already know. That shows that I'm, come, I know what I'm doing. Can you focus for like two minutes so we can do this? Why do you keep closing your eyes every time I try to move the stimulus? You're obviously going to take me. Are you in handcuffs right now? Suspecting that Amy might be driving under the influence, the deputy proceeded to conduct her field sobriety test. I'm sure you've never seen a sobriety test like this before. What I want you to do is I want you to place your left foot on the line. That's your right foot. I want you to place your Honey, left foot. This okay. tape is not fully down. It's tape on the ground. Yeah, well, okay. So like? I want you to place your right foot in front of your left foot with your right heels touching your left toes. I don't want you to start walking yet. Go back to the top of the line, please. Okay, I need you to focus and pay attention, okay? Honey, you've met a Valerie. Maybe Amy thought that by showcasing her dancing skills, the deputy might let her go. 
but her trick backfired, or perhaps the deputy didn't appreciate her dance and decided to put her under arrest. I'm not playing games anymore. Do not pull away. Do you understand? After that, Amy was transported to the jail where she was charged with driving under the influence. She had to spend 30 days in the county jail, with an additional 60 days on a GPS monitor upon her release.